UFC 100, July 11th, Mandalay Bay is gonna be f- insane. In the first fight, Brock Lesnar was putting a beating on Frank Mir, but Steve Mazzagatti decided that Brock Lesnar was punching the back of Frank Mir's head. He stopped the fight, gave Frank Mir time to recover, they re-engaged, and then Frank Mir wound up catching Brock Lesnar in his guard with a knee bar, tapping him out for the victory. He cried, Uncle. He said, Stop. I can't fight no more. I mean, there's nothing more humiliating than tapping in the fight. Frank Mir, this newly invented, reinvigorated Frank Mir. There's no one more obsessed than I am in the heavyweight division. Frank has the fire back now. We saw it when he fought Anthony Hardon. This is bad for Hardon. Mir is on top. And we certainly saw it in the Noguera fight. The Noguera fight was the most impressive performance in Frank Mir's career against arguably the most dangerous guy he's ever faced. Mir looks awesome. I really like the way Mir is throwing that uppercut. Nice knee by Mir as well. After the pay to pile loss. Oh, again. Oh, that's it. Noguera has been finished. So we will see the rematch between Frank Mir and Brock Lesnar to find out the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. Nobody gave Frank Mir a chance to beat Noguera. I didn't even think I could beat Noguera. Not only did he beat him, he beat him easily. Noguera is way tougher than me. His pain tolerance, his ability to weather storms is incredible. It's legendary. And uh, he couldn't last two rounds with me. I've gone through a lot of hardship to get back to where I am now. And uh, I don't know if uh, Brock has gone through such a difficult road to get his title. Listen, I am the UFC heavyweight champion. I beat uh, the former title holder, Randy Couture. The belt that he has isn't even real. some interesting tricks for Lesnar. He hasn't seen yet. Oh, no! And Frank Mir is down! Brock Lesnar, the guy who is a former national All-American wrestling champion, a gigantic man, freak athlete. I mean, you have never seen a man that's 265 pounds that moves the way that guy does. This fight is nothing about respect. This fight is all about revenge. Frank Mir beat me in my very first debut in the UFC. This is for me and my revenge to get back something that he took away from me. I saw exactly what I wanted, a rematch against Frank Mir. The fight that turned everybody around was the Heath Herring fight. Heath Herring has a ton of experience. This was going to be a very tough fight for Brock Lesnar. Nope. Ends up Brock Lesnar comes in like a freight train and runs right through Heath Herring. Have I answered the question, can Brock Lesnar fight? Brock Lesnar wants to get that loss off of his record. He wants to redeem himself for the first Frank Mir fight. I I honestly don't think in his mind he really feels like he won the fight either. He knows he tapped. I believe that I should have won that fight. I mean, I gave that knee bar to him. I don't think Mir's going to want to stand up with Brock Lesnar. When you get hit with those lunch boxes, you get hurt and you go to sleep. He's going to want to get it to the ground. The question is, how do you do it? What we have in this fight is Frank Mir rising up to his true potential. His discipline, his focus, his training, all coming together, taking on the juggernaut in Brock Lesnar. The UFC heavyweight champion, the destroyer, the 260-pound muscle-bound monster. It's just an outstanding matchup for the heavyweight title. We're going to find out at UFC 100 who is the real UFC heavyweight champion. This is a huge, huge fight for the welterweight division. Losing is not an option. If I lose this fight, everything that I have worked for would be nothing. I know I'm getting that bout. I know I'm going to be the next champion. I'm going to make him regret he stepped in the octagon with me. George St. Pierre, the welterweight champion of the UFC. Big one's there. George St. Pierre is on a roll. First of all, you got the dominating victory over John Fitch. Oh, Good right hand, right hand. John Fitch was thought to be the top contender in the welterweight division. George St. Pierre just handled him. Fitch got rocked. 
In his last fight, George St. Pierre took on the toughest test so far of his career in BJ Penn. Penn is getting battered. Big elbow. He dominated BJ Penn and forced BJ's camp to throw in the towel. We saw the very best George St. Pierre we've seen so far. As a champion, I don't fight to be champion because I am champion right now. I fight for my legacy. I fight to become the best welterweight as ever fought in UFC. George is good everywhere. Outstanding mixing of striking and grappling. He likes to stand up and he's a great wrestler to like control guys from the top. He's so good at maneuvering around on the ground. Wow, side control GSP. That's incredible. And getting in positions where he does unbelievable damage to you. The toughest test to date in his career in Tiago Alves. The biggest, strongest 170 pounder ever to be in the UFC. Tiago the Pitbull Alves is a wrecking machine. Throw and die, hammers. Sometimes I just want to hurt somebody, you know. Be the body. Oh, down goes to Sue. Tiago Alves is a bad dude. Big punches by Tiago. When you close the cage, man, I just got one thing in my mind, just destroy him. I gotta hurt him in every second of the fight. That's what I think about. He is the type of guy that when you step into the octagon with him, you're not only afraid to lose, you're afraid to really get hurt. Oh, he eats a big knee coming in. Vicious knockout striker with an incredible chin. This guy has knocked out Matt Hughes. Oh, big knee. Peru Parisian. Oh, good knee. Put a beating on Josh Koshek. Three very impressive wins. I like challenges, and I'm going to have uh, the biggest challenge of my career. I want to knock him out, and I want to become the man. I want to take his belt away from him. I'm going to fight a guy who's way bigger than I, but it doesn't matter to me because skill beats size, technique beats strength all the time. I'm going to look for the knockout. That's the way that I like to beat people, and that's the way it's going to happen. I'm going to knock him out. I'm not going to get knocked out by Thiago Alves. I'm going to shock the world. I'm going to take the best pound-for-pound pound fighter, and I'm going to knock him out. Henderson Bisping's an interesting fight. This is a big test for both guys. It's going to be fun to beat him up. There's no way he's going to beat the will out of me. One big victory could get them shot the title. There's that big power punch. Henderson is a tough, durable guy that's been around for a long time and has beat a lot of great guys. You're talking about an Olympic caliber wrestler, a two-time champion in pride, and one of the most successful mixed martial artists ever. Big shot right there. The dude lets his fist do the talking. And Henderson brings that right hand and looks to deliver. He's got a vicious right hand with a lot of power in it. You know, he's knocked out a lot of guys. Michael Bisping is an ever-improving, dynamic, exciting fighter. I think I'm going to be too quick for him. I don't think he's going to land that big shot. He's definitely getting bombed up. I don't see Dan Henderson, with no disrespect to 38 years of age. You know, he's got to be slowing down a bit. I don't think he's going to catch me with it. These guys coached season nine of The Ultimate Fighter. They started to get on each other's nerves. Just because you want to change. Well, I've got to have it your way all the time. I think they're looking forward to fighting each other. And he's always going to have a big mouth. It's going to be fun to beat him up. Just, just because I'd like to shut his mouth a little bit. So tune in to see the first time ever Dan Henson's going to get knocked out. History is in the making with two titles and a card for the ages. When the most powerful man in MMA, current UFC heavyweight champ Brock Lesnar, faces interim champ Frank Mir for the undisputed world title. Plus, welterweight champ George St. Pierre in the toughest fight of his career against the man who's coming off the destruction of Matt Hughes, Tiago Alves. And Dan Henderson and Michael Bisping go to war. Bud Light presents UFC 100, live Saturday, July 11th, from the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Only on pay-per-view.